So after 10 years of using the iPhone, I think my time with Apple has run its course. I recently made the full switch to the Google ecosystem with the new Pixel Fold being the center of my mobile setup. And in this video, I wanna share with you the three main reasons why this diehard Apple fanatic, I guess ex-fanatic, is moving over to the world of Android. Reason number one, this form factor. Foldable phones are changing how we use our cell phones on a daily basis. You have a ton of companies dipping their toes in the space like Samsung with the Galaxy Z Fold, Motorola with the Flip Razor Plus, and I've been really attracted to this form factor because if you think about it, they basically erase the need for a tablet. And the first area that this is shown in is with on-the-go entertainment and content consumption. The Pixel Fold has a 5.8 inch front display and when you open it up, you then have a 7.6 inch display which is almost the perfect size when watching movies or TV shows when traveling. In fact, I was able to watch a few episodes of Marvel's Secret Invasion and thoroughly enjoyed that experience. You are also able to use more of a hands-free style by putting the Pixel Fold in either a tabletop or tent mode. I personally prefer consuming content on the wider display as it is also a great size for web browsing or reading an ebook. The Pixel Fold also doubles as a tablet through its productivity features. You can use the Fold split screen function to have two apps open at the same time. This is definitely useful for multitasking, especially when I'm trying to take notes while watching a podcast or educational video on YouTube, or when I'm dragging over images from Google Photos to my email or text message threads. And this being a native Google device, all the Google apps such as Google Docs and Sheets are fully optimized for the larger screen where you can get access to most of the toolbar functions that you're used to seeing on a desktop and you have more space to see what you're actually editing. A few other things that I did like about the form factor was that when folded, the Pixel actually fits very snug and secure in the hand. I don't know how to explain it, but when I briefly tried out the Galaxy Z Fold 4, it was a bit too long and skinny where I felt that it was just a bit awkward to hold and carry around, but the Pixel Fold, actually makes me admire that smaller form factor again. However, not everything is perfect with the design as a few things did bother me off the jump. For example, the fact that the Pixel Fold doesn't lay completely flat when unfolded is a bit annoying and weird as it results in making the crease a bit more prominent when laying the device down. I also missed having a pen or some sort of stylus as I really do like having something physical in my hand to write with to jot down notes if I'm using a larger screen. Now, before we get into the second reason, let me know in the comments if you like the idea of foldable phones. If you are, give me the hype fire emoji and if you're like nah not for me put the trash emoji moving to the second reason why i'm switching away from the iphone and honestly it's one of the biggest reasons that google pixel camera the first experience that I had with the Pixel cameras was when I actually picked up the Pixel 7 Pro in the fall of last year, just as a backup for my iPhone, and I was shocked at the quality of the pictures that it took. I mean, look at these photos that I captured on my group trip to Mexico City and a recent trip that I took to Seattle. Like, come on jaw dropping. I was literally the guy that everybody kept asking to take photos. And what I found out was that these quality photos were because of the Pixel Line's AI camera capabilities, which basically uses computational photography with Google's G2 Tensor chip. This enables features such as the magic eraser, which lets you remove any annoying distractions from your photos with a simple swipe of the finger. You can also leverage the night sight feature, which gives you exceptional low light photos that have crisp details and lighting. You can clear up blurry photos, even with ones taken in the past with face on blur. And one of my favorite AI camera features that I love to use is Google's Real Tone, which basically adjusts the color balance and lighting of photos of darker skin tones so your pictures have a better representation of what people of color actually look like. Now, for the Google Pixel Fold, the main rear camera is 48 megapixels with an aperture of 1.7, along with a 10.8 megapixel ultra wide and telephoto lens that has a five times optimal zoom and a super res zoom, which can go up to 20 times while still maintaining decent picture quality. The front camera is 9.5 megapixels and the Pixel Fold actually has an inside camera that is eight megapixels for when you wanna use the phone for video calls. Which gets me to some of the cool camera features I'm interested in trying out, such as the tabletop selfie mode to take photos without needing a tripod or being able to take higher quality selfies by opening up the phone and using the rear camera while still seeing yourself in the frame. I know this means my fiance is gonna be asking me to take selfies all the time. <laughs> Got it. Here are a few examples of the photos that I've taken with the Pixel Fold so far. Not bad, right? I truly think Google Pixel phones just take way better pictures than any of the iPhones out there. Prove me wrong. Now the last and final reason that I'm switching away from Apple is actually the Android ecosystem. Android has always been highly regarded for its ability to be customized to whatever you like. Whether that was different launchers, custom keyboards, or widgets, it also has a more seamless file system where you can easily access different folders on your device or connect your phone to your computer to transfer files to and from it. It just felt like it was a great open platform to tinker with. Now I'll be honest, Apple has definitely 
definitely caught up over the years in terms of being more customizable as with iOS 17, you now have interactive widgets that you can add to your home screen. You could personalize your lock screen with different clock fonts, portrait background images. Shoot, even Apple Maps has even gotten a little bit better. But even with all that being said, I really think Google might surpass Apple when it comes to their mobile software. I mean, look at their upcoming AI capabilities like Bard, which is a chat GPT competitor that can help write code and even generate images with Adobe Firefly. They even have an upcoming feature where you can adjust the tone of your text that you want to send. Crazy. And let's be real, Android is technically always the one that is first to market with new innovative features. Apple just waits a while and then bam, they come in with the same thing and claim that it's revolutionary. When in reality, they just waited until all the bugs were worked out in the other systems. Honestly, I'm really looking forward to using the Pixel Fold over the next couple of months. I am a bit nervous to relearn the whole Android ecosystem all over again. Plus, it's gonna be a little bit of a pain trying to work around the compatibility with my other Apple devices, such as my MacBook and my iPad Pro. And I guess my fiance has to get used to my green text again.